Hello friends, it's me Lore. I hope that you are enjoying my weekly videos and that maybe you are learning something new with them. Consider subscribing to my channel if you are into painting with watercolors. In today's video I bring you an easy tutorial on how to paint a floral card that you can also frame to decorate your walls. We are going to make some easy brush strokes to create botanical and floral elements within a nice composition that will have some space for any writing that you want to add just in the middle, like a name, a date or a place for example. You'll need watercolor paper or a blank greeting card, some watercolors, two water cups, one or two watercolor brushes, a paper towel, a fine liner or a calligraphy pen for the text. We will be using some tape to help us with the composition by preserving the white of the paper on the edges of our painting. So, before starting to paint, take the tape and frame your paper with it. Leave like 2 or 3 centimeters on all of the edges of the paper, making like a frame. Then imagine how you want your final painting to look. You can sketch very lightly to help you with the composition and help you where you want to place your floral and botanical elements. Once you have your light sketch ready, you can jump in with the watercolors. For this painting, it will also be good to decide beforehand what color palette you will be using. You can choose a cold or a warm palette, you can also choose one single color and play with their different shades, or you can choose two complementary colors to have a contrasted painting. It's up to you, so be creative! I'm using a warm palette for this painting. I will be using colors like yellows, oranges, reds and probably I'll end up adding some green light to add a bit of contrast. But you can choose a different color palette than mine, so be creative! You'll need to leave a white space in the middle of your composition because that's where we'll be adding the text at the end of the painting. So we want all the plants to come from the frame into the center of the illustration. Remember that even with one single brush we can get very different strokes and get different botanical elements. If you want to learn more about this, you can check one of my previous videos called Paint Easy Floral Themes with me. This is where I show you a few different floral elements all done with a single brush. We want to create botanical elements all over the painting at once. So what I like to do is to add the bigger elements in all four sides first and then go smaller from there. You don't have to make it symmetrical, in fact it will look nicer if it's not. Start from the edges where your tape is and go towards the center, but don't forget to leave the white space in the middle of the painting for the text. When painting you will need to have in mind that if some of the leaves you just painted are still wet, they will bleed into the new ones you add. 
This can create a beautiful transition, but make sure they are not completely soaking wet, as the colors could mix completely and you could mess up your painting. You can play with different strokes and pressure on your brush to make thin lines or thick leaves and petals. You can use the tip of your brush to make dots for some plants and you can play with the brush to have different botanical elements. Also, it's a good idea to start with the lightest color first and build up darker layers so they overlap each other and they end up creating more interesting pieces. To have more contrasted elements, we can wait until the watercolor layers are completely dry before adding new elements or more details. This technique can work for some details on the leaves, for stems and for any dots or splashes you want to add towards the end of the painting. Be creative and don't be afraid of the painting. Leaves are very easy to do and the good news is that they are not perfect, so you don't have to worry too much about getting the right shape. Enjoy the process! Once your watercolor plants are finished and completely dry, you can take off the tape. This is usually very satisfying to do, so enjoy that part. Then you can write on the white space we left in the middle with a calligraphy pen or a fine liner. You can write a name, a date, a quote or any other text that you like.
Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully now you have a beautiful floral painting that you can frame or give as a custom gift for someone. If you like these kind of tutorials, please subscribe and share it with anyone who might enjoy painting. See you next week with another video. Bye! Thank you for watching!